All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to invite Fredboat to your Discord server and use it to play music for all of your friends. And so if you're not familiar with Fredboat, it's a Discord music bot that plays from YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, it also plays from Twitch and Bandcamp and all those good places. You can search for music directly through the bot instead of having to just go out and find a link for something to play. It's got a lot of commands that you would expect of a music player. And it's also got a few for fun commands that can post like memes and images along with a few administrative commands. So the first thing we got to do to get this on your server is to click on the add to discord button. And this will open up a window that will ask you what server you want to put this on. For some people, this might appear as a Discord login screen. Go ahead and log in, because the bot needs you to be logged in to know where to send the, the bot, what server it should be on. And once that's done, I'm going to set it to my test server and click Authorize. Prove that I'm a human being. And then boom, it'll be on the server. You can see it popped up over here on my test server. Fredboat has joined the server. And from here, you can click on this button to go to commands. You can add it to another server, all that good stuff. And the commands are all listed here in these like nice and neat sections. So you can see like configuration commands. You can do like detailed permissions so that only certain people can use the bot on your server, all that stuff. But most of it can just be run directly through Discord. So I'm going to jump in to a, mu a voice channel because you can't control a lot of the things on music bots without already being logged into a voice channel. And then from here, we can just look at what the prefix is. It's, what is this, uh, semicolon, semicolon, help. And then that will allow us to start figuring out how to use the bot. So I've already kind of played with this before, so I know that to show all of the commands, you just do command space all to see a big list of all the different commands that it can do. And here at the top, you can get some information based upon like the bot's ping to see if it's lagging. So we can just type in ping and then boom, it'll tell us what the current average ping is to our server. That'll let you know if like the music is stuttery or something else is wrong, like what's going on and why. And then down here, you here's all the music playing control commands, basically what you would expect of a music player play space the name of some type of music that I want to play. I typed in NCS and it'll show me automatically a search for the top five videos related to the name NCS. And from here we can just play it play space the number. So I'm going to play number two and it'll pop into voice chat with me and it'll start playing the music. From here you can do basic controls like you can pause the bot, you can resume the bot, and then if you want to, you can tell it to stop and then leave the channel if you're done using the bot entirely. So that's pretty straightforward and standard. Uh, the other types of controls it has for music is you can see what's now playing. And that'll tell you the current song playing. And if you add more stuff to the queue, let's just add uh, number five just for kicks. And then what else? Let's play no copyright sound. And then from there, let's play number four. And then from here, we can just type in the queue and then it'll tell us all the songs that are currently queued up to be played. Now, depending on the bot you use, sometimes they show only the upcoming songs and they don't tell you the currently now playing song. But this one shows the number one song is the one that's currently playing, followed by, you know, whatever else. And it also tells you who requested the song. That way, if someone requests something weird or something that you're not supposed to, you'll know so that you can ban them from being able to use the bot to play music. And that's something that this bot does. Uh, it's got a detailed set of permissions where you can actually determine who's allowed to use the bot 
rather than just letting whoever logs into the server do it. So what kind of fun abilities do we have? We can type in things like capybara, and that'll literally show a picture of a capybara. It also does cat girl. Does that just randomly show a picture of a cat girl? It does. So it's got a bunch of fun little features. It plays music. It, you can post a bunch of different types of memes, pictures. You can make it say stuff. You can have it roll a, a dice for you. All of that good stuff. It's got some info stuff. It's got a few utilities like telling you the weather, all that good stuff. But yeah, so it's got a lot of great utility. It's pretty good quality. I haven't had any complaints when playing around with it today and testing out all these different features. So if you're looking for a bot that still plays music from YouTube and Twitch, and also Bandcamp and SoundCloud, Fredboat might be the one that you want to use. So I would definitely recommend it. I think it also does slash commands too, but it definitely handles all the main stuff. It plays music, shares memes. What else do you really want? Uh, do they have a premium feature? It looks like they're primarily donation and merchandise based, so that might help them stay away from a cease and desist letter from YouTube. It might not, only time will tell. But if you wanna use this bot, I'll put the links in the video description, both uh, the main website al along with a link directly to the commands of the website. And if you need to do more than that, they've also got a great set of documentation that you can use that the bot will actually link you to when you first start using it on your site or on your server, I should say, and ask it for help. It'll link you to the documentation, and that's good for giving you instructions on how to use some of the more finer-tuned stuff like the permission system. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a look at Fredboat, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.